Hi, hi, I'm back. Let's go up here. And here is a cave. You'll be coming out of this cave later. And remember this recovery spring. And that turtle. And that gate. I mean, door. You will need to, you will need to remember all that for later. But mainly the spring for very soon. The battles here aren't that hard, I mean. I mean, you got some weird things like, holy hell. I mean, if you use everybody's abilities correctly, you should kill them in no time. Just blast them with fire. Auto crossbows. And have lots fight. For now, if you're not worried about magic consumption and stuff like that, have Terra just freaking gang on fire spells and Edgar gang on auto crossbow attacks. Because it's not really gonna hurt. Hang on, I wanna check. Sorry about that, I just need to change it because I'm used to the auto crossbow being in first slot. Now, there are multiple paths to go here. Up here is an item. Don't really go for everything here because you come back to this cave later and you can come back to it later after that. But if you want to get everything on the first run, come up here to get a tincture. Tincture, you say it. <laughs> What I usually do here, I have Locke focus on stealing, Edgar focusing on fire blasting, I mean, Tara focus on fire blasting, and Edgar focus on freaking blasting of the auto crossbow or bio blaster. If anyone's health starts to dip low, either use Locke to give him a tonic, or you could have Tara skip her turn and use cure on everybody. And see what I mean? The combination just kills. Do it quick enough, you may get like two of every item, two tonics, antidotes, and stuff like that. Over here, over on the other side, I think there is an item. Trolleys. They look like worms. For here, I would just potion up Terra. Just be careful though, because that is poison based, and some absorb poison. So just make sure you're using the right item and stuff. The auto crossbow for now is your best weapon until later when you could Edgar could get the drill, which is basically rape tastic. No, seriously, it is. That thing will go through anything. You get the drill, you get a saw later, which Edgar dons a hockey mask and starts to wig out like Jason. Whichever killer, I forgot, I don't care, I don't pay attention to those horror movies anymore. I would save here, just in case. But also, I noticed there are certain parts where the monsters spawn. I actually found a way around some of the hardest battles in this game. I mean, not like boss battles, but like hardest uh, normal battles, random encounters, that, that, that's the word. I'm having bad mental blocks today. Now, what, after this, what I love to do is outside there's a there's a town where you could you should just go splurging. I mean splurge your ass off like there's no tomorrow, like the world is gonna going to end. Like in that movie Dogma when there the world was about to end and he was using a pink condom. I mean the world's gonna end, it's not like it matters, I mean what? It takes a true man to wear pink. Or use pink. But either way, enough about that movie. What you gotta do after that, to town South Figaro, there'll be a shop, weapon store, armor store, and relic store. I suggest you buy one of every relic you see, if you, even if you need it or not. You'll never know. But whatever you do, for the next scene, for the next scene buy three sprint shoes, because you don't want to go through that area. Go through three areas in a, one area super fast, and then go through the next two areas slow as hell. Like, why am I vest? So I always buy three. You'll need to focus on three different groups at once, so it's going to be kind of hard. Basically just blast them, like there's no tomorrow. And slumber isn't really that bad, it's just sleep. But there you do, if you're really desperate to wake them up, and you know you can, like, cure them right away, have... Like, I think, had terror attack, 
and then have somebody use a potion or a tonic. Don't use potions unless you know the person it, what you're fighting usually does more than what the tonic could heal. Save it down like the 5 health and the tonic heals it since it heals 50, you'll give them the 55s and they're doing damage in the 60s, then it's alright to either waste the potion or full cure everybody. Right now, the only reason why I'm showing you all these battles is because I, don't, I have nothing to cut them out. And besides, I kind of like the battles, it's funny. I mean, after this, I'll kind of like grind my levels up for a bit. I'll try to get Tower to like at least level 10, just to make sure she's ready for the next boss. And then I'll just go on. Don't be really concerned about magic for now until you get to the, um, uh, the next area. You'll be getting massive amounts of money later. And that's money, massive amounts of money now and later. So it shouldn't really be that hard to splurge, like there's no freaking tomorrow. And right now, at the here, little outdoor area, Chris, and watch this. See? Damn it, I thought he could pass it. But either way, it doesn't really matter. Just kill him. I'll just cure everyone up. There's going to be a uh, in here, but don't waste the money. Because I'll show you a little area where you could camp, where you could uh, spawn camp enemies, just constantly kill them over and over, pool money, experience, and everything, nearly die, and get a fr and get a night's sleep for free. But first off, I suggest you splurge in here. And see that person? Follow him. He'll come in handy later multiple times later. He is your only optional character in this game, twice. And then he soon he becomes a playable character if you manage, if you keep him. Says nothing. Locke gets all pissed off. Terra just stands there like, what's going on? Of course, Terra just stands there. I think Green is new blonde in this game. No, I can't say that. No one. He's a mercenary. He's a ninja. He's Shadow. And his dog, Interceptor. Ir irony alert. Locke says better steer clear of him. I'll tell you the irony later. Twice. Here's the inn. Don't spend any money. Just look around. I mean, sometimes there's some good stuff in here. Even though there's nothing in there, I would check it anyway, because sometimes I miss some things. Hey. Relics give you a variety of abilities. These are my walking speed. Sprint shoes. By three. For later. Relic. For example, sprint shoes double your speed. True Knight shields others from battle. Dragon Boots changes fight to jump. And Gauntlet, hold a weapon with two hands, making it double powerful. Now, thing to buy here, like I said, oh, just buy one for now. Wow, I thought I had a lot more money. Yeah, I'll just screw it for now. Doesn't matter who you equip it on, because you'll go fast as hell. But what you gotta do, look around, no battles, thank god. Oh, that right there, that's a chocobo stable. You can rent a choke, but, one, but once you get off it, it runs. The wuss. Remember this layout well. No, I mean it. Remember this, because you'll be running through here like, Oh my god, where do I go? I gotta run! And there it is. Weapon. Oh. Remember, like I said, check all of the freaking bottles. Now see... Just buy one Regal Cutlass, if you took my advice and stole everything from... What's this? If you took Ma's equipment? Nothing in here, I think. Ah, oh, damn. Gotta cut it short. Alright, alright. Sigh.